secret to success on LinkedIn. It is not the secret to building your brand. It is not the secret to creating followers. It is not the secret for people getting to know you. Content creation on LinkedIn is not the way to do it. Commenting is the way to do it. Commenting is the single greatest power and activity you can do on LinkedIn for all of the above. Let's talk about that. Every single comment you make gets pushed to your network. All of you left a comment with Tom, about 30% of your audience is gonna see that comment. Every single comment we make on LinkedIn gets pushed to a huge portion of our, our LinkedIn audience. This is why when you go through your feed and you see all this content, you're seeing comments from first degree connections who are commenting on stuff that you're not interested in, but somehow you've interacted with that individual, so their comment is being put in your feed. So every single comment we make which means these comments aren't cutting it. Your audience is seeing you say, awesome. Uh, okay. Awesome. Having the opportunity, so now add more to that, and we'll talk about that. So you got to think about this differently. Get rid of these awesome, thanks for sharing, right? Instead, structure your comment this way. Tom, you make a great point. So if you look at, I left a comment, I tagged Tom. Why? Because my audience might not be aware who I'm responding to, especially if I'm responding to somebody else in the post. And also, they can now click on Tom and go straight to his profile to see who is this wonderful man I'm talking to. You make a great point. I'm going to restate something Tom said so that my audience has context about what I'm talking about and the part that I want to pull out that I want them to know. And then I'm going to provide my own little spin on it. I'm not going to thread jacket, I'm not going to take it over, but I am going to add my own insights to that. Here's an example. You can't read this, I'll just tell you what it is. It's uh, Wordle, uh, when the New York Times acquired Wordle, Jennifer M. Toronto Rodriguez, I don't know her, she's a third degree connection, but she made a post about Wordle. So what I went ahead and did is I left a comment. Okay, here's my comment, and if I read it to you, in today's world of digital first engagement, oh, use that word, digital first, uh, it's great to see the written word having success. So often we're being told that video is the only way people engage. If you've ever heard me speak, you know why I talk about video. And then I go on, blah, blah, blah. Now here's what's interesting. She got 26 comments on her post. I generated 40 likes on my comment. And of the 26 comments she received, eight of them were made on my comment. In essence, my comment became its own post, using Jennifer's audience to talk. Every single one of those people who commented on my comment took my comment and put it in front of their audience. And so this will drive more engagement. Hang on just a second. Hey, how much time do I have left? It says 30 seconds, but I want to keep going. Three minutes? Help me out, Aaron. How much time do I got left? Three minutes. I should have said 10. All right. <laughs> Here's another example. John's the prospect. John made a post about cybersecurity. Danielle's the salesperson. Danielle does not know John other than he, she wants to sell him something. John doesn't know Danielle other than the fact she, he doesn't want to be sold to. So what does Danielle do? She leaves a comment. John, tags John, you make a great point, restates what John said about cybersecurity, and then provided her own insights. There are two comments on this post. Guess who the second comment's from? John, responding to Danielle. Boom. Introduction made, opening opportunity. She didn't send him a cold in-mail, a cold connection request, nothing. She started a conversation on a topic he was interested in. Let me give you one more example. Uh, these two young ladies work for me, Lee on the left, Kira on the right. Uh, salespeople, they wanted to go to a technology conference in Las Vegas. I had to question my, should I be sending these two young ladies to Las Vegas on a corporate c credit card? The one on the left, Lee, is my daughter, my oldest of five. So when they registered for the event, they determined of the 500 attendees, 80 of them were prospects. So for the next two weeks leading up to the event, all they did was start commenting and commenting and commenting, not about the upcoming conference and not about our services. Instead, they commented about what was interesting to the prospect. Now, guess what happened when they walked into that event? Leah, Kira, it's so great to meet you in person. They didn't have to introduce themselves to their prospects. The prospects already knew who they were. 
Connection requests were accepted 100% right on the spot. And of the 80, 22 accepted a sales call from my salespeople to talk about our services for their company. <laughs> Wait, okay, I'll, I'll Venmo you. Okay. <laughs> Here's this other one I talked about, using comments to drive conversation. Devin's a good friend of mine, but he kept posting his YouTube videos to LinkedIn and getting no traction. He got three likes. And this is a man, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett. I mean, he interacts with a huge following of people, but I couldn't get him to stop. So finally, he took me, my advice and created a post. No link, text only, and he tagged a couple of organizations. He tagged the Rotary International and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the Salt Lake Tribune. How many people at the Salt Lake Tribune were notified that he tagged the organization? How many people? Everybody hold up one finger. The intern managing the LinkedIn account for the Salt Lake Tribune. When you tag an organization, just realize that it's not going to everybody. It's generally going to whoever's managing it. But then what he did is he started a commenting strategy like I talked about. Amanda, Natalie, and they responded. Paul, da Davis, he got 139 comments. He also got 102,000 impressions in a week. He became a believer. All right, as we wrap up, I have some homework for you. I'm not asking you to go create content, but I am asking you to do this. First of all, look at how many people have looked at your LinkedIn profile. You can just find that whenever. And now for the next week, I'm asking that you leave three comments a day for five days. Three comments a day and pick people in your company, and colleagues, people in this room, or second to three, third degree connections that might interest you. That's all I want you to do is just leave three comments and I've taught you how to do those comments, right? Acknowledge the author, restate what they had to say, provide your own insights. All of you have something to add to the conversation. Here's my promise to you. In the next week, you will see a 300 to 500% increase in the number of people looking at your LinkedIn profile simply because you started commenting on other people's conversations, guaranteed. Let me show you this screenshot. Somebody took me up on it. What you see is the number of people looking at their profile every week when they dutifully reshared company content. Reshare, 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 reshare. Took my training, decided to do five, three comments a day for a week. They got more people to look at their LinkedIn profile that week than had in the previous 90 days combined, simply because they left comments. That is what I would leave with you. That yes, we're all worried about creating content and video and whatever, but if you simply take the time to go participate in other people's conversations, whether you are coming out of university looking for a job, whether you're a salesperson, whether you're a marketing individual, it doesn't matter your role. Find people to comment on, participate in their conversations, and they will find you interesting when it comes time for you to say something. The algorithm can be found at this QR code, I hope, okay? Or I'll make it available to the 417 team so you can find that available as well. Now, before we wrap up, is Tom back there somewhere? Did we lose Tom? There you are. Tom, that post that you made go live about 40, oh, it's been about an hour ago. Can you yeah. share with us, let's take a quick, how many, people, how many people do you think looked at this post in the last 40 minutes? There's about 300 of us, 500 of us. What do you think, probably three, 500? Tom? How many people looked at your post in the last 40, 45 minutes? 2,963. 2,963. Yeah. In the, and what, you're, you made a post go live yesterday. Yeah. How many people saw that post? 250. <laughs> I said there was a 10x increase, and that's almost spot on, yeah. exactly 10x. Yeah, it's amazing. It is amazing, and it didn't require any money. We didn't pay any advertising. No, it simply is you started a conversation and the audience participated. No, but my thumbs hurt from having to type responses yeah, it, nonstop. Oh, sorry. I didn't get to everybody. <laughs> He's apologizing right now if you weren't on his favorite list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here's how you can get hold of me. I want to say thank you, Tom. Thank you very yeah. much. This yeah. has been great. Yeah. And so thank you, everybody, for your participation.